67 really is not that old. Only 67 years of age. Fast forward many years to about seven years ago. My mother-in-law, the mother of my wife, at that time, much older than 67, was diagnosed with stage four cancer in the jawbone. I had never heard of that before. And so she went to the doctors and the doctors said this to her, well, considering your health, considering your age, this is how we see it. If you don't have the surgery, you will probably live for maybe 18 more months. If you do have the surgery, well, you may still die, but it will buy you a little bit more time, maybe five years. So we prayed. My wife prayed. Her brothers and sisters prayed. I prayed. The grandchildren prayed. Everyone prayed. So many people prayed. She went into surgery on, I forgot what day of the week it was. She went into surgery, and as the surgeons went in to remove the cancer, they realized something. There was no cancer there. What happened? It was on the x-rays, it was on all the other tests, all the other diagnoses that they did, it was there. What happened? Where did it go? We know what happened. A miracle took place. God did something before the surgeons did it. But now, here's the question. Why did God heal one person, but he didn't heal the other person? Have you ever asked that question before? Why did he choose to heal my mother-in-law, but he did not heal my grandmother? This woman had that same question. God, what's taking so long? Why aren't you coming to my rescue? Why aren't you healing me? You know I need healing. I don't know the answers to these questions. On my Facebook page, I posted pictures of myself at the cemetery, and then I put a hashtag next to it, 27 years and counting. It's been 27 years now since my grandmother passed away and my grandfather less than a year later passed away. But I have come to this conclusion, while I don't know the answer to the question, this much I do know. God is too wise to make a mistake. So I must still trust him anyway. Even when I don't understand what God does and how he does things and when he chooses to do things, I still trust him. Why? because I serve a God who heals. Which brings us to one last verse in these few moments that we have remaining. James chapter five, verse 15. For James says in that chapter, if any among you is sick, let him call for the elders and be anointed. And then James goes on and says in verse 15, that the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. But that's a very interesting word that's used there. It's not the word that applies solely to physical healing. It is a word that talks about eternal healing. It is a word that deals with salvation. In fact, the word that is used there is the word that is so often used uh, and translated as save. The prayer of faith will save the sick. James goes on and says, and God will raise that person up in the last day. Let's understand this concept of being saved. Again, God heals in his time. Our interest is temporary. Our interest is, is temporal. But God's interest is eternal. Today, before we have the appeal song, you may be struggling with this question about the God who heals. Perhaps you are like I am. You're asking that question, 
God, why did you heal that person? Why did you heal that person? But you didn't heal my loved one. And then it starts playing games with our minds. Maybe that person has more faith in God than I did. If I only had more faith, then God would hear my prayer. That's not the answer to the question. What we must always keep in mind is that we do serve a God who heals. Sometimes he heals today, sometimes he heals three years from now, and sometimes, as is the case with my grandmother, he will bring about the healing on the resurrection morning. But it does not matter when God does the healing. The key thing is God heals. I'm so glad that God has more wisdom than I have. He knows what's best. I don't understand what he does, and I don't understand why he does what he does, and I don't understand why he chooses to do things or not do things when he does. But the same God who sees, the same God who hears, is the same God who heals. Maybe you're in that situation. Maybe you have a loved one. Maybe you have experienced death in your family and you went through the same thing. Take comfort in knowing that God heals not only now, but he heals for eternity. And that's the healing that we all need.